Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius. Hope you guys are all having a good week so far. Sending you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. So this may not resonate with all of you. Please take a resonates and leave the rest, but this could resonate with you if you have placements in Aquarius or you're dealing with somebody that does have Aquarius birth chart placements. Please take a moment to read through the description box before you read this, before you read, before you watch this reading. I would really appreciate that as well. Aquarius. What do my Aquarius viewers need to know at this time, spirit? You guys were the first card out, the star. That is your energy. We have Earth energy out. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, High Priestess, Pisces energy, the Hanged Man, Pisces energy. Now we have fire energy out here. Aries, Leo, Sag. The five of four of pentacles wanted to jump out as well. So. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> um, somebody is listening to their intuition and they're looking at something differently. Some of you guys will be dealing with a cancer as well. This is kind of similar to cancer's reading. But somebody has been holding back because they were yet to put an end to a situation or they hadn't changed something in their life or they hadn't changed. They hadn't gone through a transformation. They hadn't moved on from something. That's why they, they hadn't moved on from some type of family situation that was very tense or some type of something else, some type of something that had a foundation in their life. They hadn't moved on from that yet. And um, there was a lot of con conflict and tension in that situation this this situation that they were not they were holding on to went against the divine plan all right um definitely could be an earth sign you're dealing with this person has been trying to take some time to heal and i feel like in during their healing process they have gained a new perspective somebody is starting to listen to their intuition now and i feel like they have finally maybe freed themselves from something yeah, somebody has been a single and healing. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody has been, this could be you guys. You guys could just be single, focusing on yourself, focusing on your money, your career, and healing. I see that this person has been stuck in indecision. This person has not been able to make up their mind. This person has been very conflicted. They've been having a hard time listening to their intuition. But they're. it's like they're looking at somebody, something different here. They're looking at somebody that they've been dealing with differently or a situation with somebody differently here. All right, so let's see here. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, because I feel like this is a third party, unfortunately. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Some type of family or home situation has fell apart. That's what I'm seeing here. That like there's there's no stability in a situation. The tower happened to maybe like a situation where somebody had their money invested in it. They had children with a the person. They were living with this person. That situation has blown up. And it's like I'm getting this energy. It's like because they were dealing with somebody that was greedy. They, they're in a relationship with somebody that's greedy. Somebody is very selfish. Somebody that's very unstable. And now I feel like somebody's feeling like, I feel like this is two people. This is one of these people is like you. I feel like you guys are this queen of wands. All right. Some of you guys could have fire placements in your birth chart. They're looking at you as very attractive, very abundant, very beautiful. 
they're feeling very attracted to you. And I feel like they maybe were in some type of family situation with this queen of pentacles in reverse, this greedy, selfish person. Um, and that situation blew up and now they're having regrets here. They, they're in regret energy. They feel like they've missed an opportunity because they maybe pursued something that didn't work out for them. All right. So, or is, yeah, they're looking at a situation differently. They're looking at you differently. They're looking at, they feel like they should have chose you. That's what I'm seeing here. You guys can hear my child singing Hickory Dickory Dock in the background. <laughs> um yep somebody feels like they wish they would have chose you they know that they made the wrong decision they couldn't they couldn't make up your mind between you and another person so now what two of swords and they're having a lot of conflict but with, i feel they're having a lot of conflict yeah they made a decision that didn't work out like it did not was not successful whatever they chose did not work out was not successful yeah they tried to have some type of new stable beginning with somebody but i'm feeling like that did not let's see here strength king of wands they've been trying to They didn't have the strength to leave a situation or walk away from a situation. They didn't have the courage to withdraw from a situation is what I'm seeing here. But I feel like this person, they're trying to also gain the courage to come back. They're trying to make a return here. Yeah, they want to communicate that they've released something toxic from the past. That they've released something toxic from the past. They see that things clearly now. Yeah, something that they were holding on to, they have released now. So tell me about the High Priestess and the Five of Wands. This person, yeah, I told you this person was very conflicted. Their intuition was telling them, don't pursue this. Don't go that direction. Don't go down that road. And they didn't listen. So now they're no longer confused. They see things very clearly now. They're trying to listen to their intuition. Six of Pentacles. What about the Six of Pentacles? Queen of Swords. What about the Queen of Swords? The Lovers. They, it's like they're realizing that this person that they were dealing with is very cold. They're not, they, they can't be in a relationship with that person. It's just like, in a nutshell, this person's realizing that, that whatever they wanted to pursue or they thought was better to pursue than being with you was a mistake. That's what I'm seeing here. They've made a mistake. Now they're trying to withdraw from that situation to pursue what makes them happy, which I think is to reconcile here with you, but they don't know if they're going to be able to, they're afraid. What's, what's keeping this from manifesting or for them, for, for them, what's keeping them from coming back towards you is their fears. They're afraid to come towards you. They don't think that this is going to be able to progress. They, I think they also think maybe you have gone in a different direction. For some of you, they think you're in another commitment now. So let's see here. What do I want to take a look at? This is definitely third party. Let me just get. Tell me more about this. So what's going on here? So they stayed in a situation because it was their comfort zone. It was what they were used to. Their heart was with you, but they made a head over heart decision here. They stayed in a situation that was more convenient. Maybe they thought that they wouldn't have to give up so much money. Didn't I tell you, wasn't that your reading that I just did? Somebody didn't come back because they hadn't changed yet. But this person has gone through a transformation now. They could no longer resist change. They were resisting it very much. Yeah, and they kept repeating the same cycle over and over again because they were so resistant to change. They couldn't make a decision between you and another person. They kept jumping between you and this other person. So that's probably why you and this person probably had an on and off relationship. I think they were also staying in this situation because of money. Oh, and this person was a player. Yeah. They just, they, this person was non-committal. This person couldn't make up their mind about whether or not they even wanted to be in a relationship. They weren't ready. It's like you came into this person's life. All right. It's like you came into this person's life to trigger a transformation in them. Number 44 could be significant to you guys. Um, you came into this person's life to trigger them to go through this deep transformation. When they met you, they could no longer avoid this, these 
changes in their life, making these, going through this transformation. They felt such a deep connection with you that was like something that they had never felt before. It triggered something in there. It triggered a transformation in them and it was like a domino effect in their whole life. It started bringing things up to the surface that this person was trying to avoid. They couldn't avoid it anymore. It's like this person was a player until they met you or they maybe still tried to continue to be a player, but that didn't work out for them anymore. All right. So now this person's realizing that like this was something faded. It was faded for you and this person to um, come together. All right. Yeah, I don't feel like this person is messing around with, I don't think they're messing around with anybody anymore. They have moved out of a home. They're no longer in a home situation or they have, they're getting out of their comfort zone. Yeah, they're no longer wanting to stay in their comfort zone or they have removed themselves from their comfort zone or they're ready to. All right, they have stepped out of an illusion. They were looking at this situation. I told you this person's perception has changed about this other person. They thought that that was their person. They thought that they should be in that situation. They thought that they thought that was meant for them. Now they're not looking at it like that anymore. They're realizing that they were better off with you. All right. They may have even had to remove some friends from their life that were bad influences on them. This person wasn't practicing self-care. They weren't taking care of themselves or they were not making healthy choices for themselves. All right. So... This is what I see here for you guys. Um, I hope that this reading helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Number, oh, I wanted to see 44 and I just saw also 33. So let me see if I can find those. 44, soulmate. So this is probably a soulmate that you're dealing with. A soulmate connection is making its way to you. Keep your heart open and don't fear letting love in. Know that you are being divinely guided to be in each other's lives. All right, and then number 33. Self love. What did I just say? Somebody wasn't practicing self care, or and it could have been you guys as well. Somebody wasn't taking care of themselves or making healthy choices for themselves. We have self love here. Your focus will be on putting yourself first. Wow, guys. Yeah, somebody was. Somebody wasn't practicing self care by doing what was best for them. Your focus will be on putting yourself first and showing yourself the love you've been longing for because there's a desire to shift. Yep, and rise up to something more meaningful. Yep. All right, guys. So number 33 and 44 could be significant to you. All right, guys. So this is what I, like I said, this is what I have for you. Um, don't forget to also like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you're interested in collective readings. Personal readings are open, but I, I think I'm going to be closing them soon. So keep that in mind when reaching out to me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.